Everybody, Jeff, your executive gardener. Hope you're doing well. Beautiful. Absolutely getting beautiful here in suburbs of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. No leaves on the trees yet, but the grass is starting to green. It's about 70, 75 degrees, so you know what time it is. It's time to start getting the plants outside. So I'm going to pot, uh, I'm going to pot up a few of my pepper plants, and um, I started with these pepper plants. Uh, you can't see them. Shoot me, but this is the sun. Anyway, uh, this is called the red skin pepper. It's a dwarf pepper plant, um, and it's meant to grow about 12, 18 inches and just produce a ton of uh, peppers. I've had to keep these things inside for quite a while. Uh, as a result, um, I keep cutting off the flowers. Uh, but as you can see, uh, it's doing remarkable. These, you, you're just, when you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, you're not gonna find seedlings that look like that. Look at the amount of foliage that this thing has on it, the amount of flowers it has on it, how green, how shiny the leaves are. Um, every one of them. So I'm going to pot one of these up in a small plant and uh, a lot of people ask me what um, nutrients do you use for your pepper plant. So I'm going to show you real quick and this is what I do. So uh, certainly I put in a good uh, potting mix. You can pick whatever potting mix you want with a little bit of fertilizer. I use perlite, add a decent amount of perlite to make sure that the drainage and the aeration in the potting mix is improved. They don't really give you much in a standard potting mix. For pepper plants, I add a little bit of bone meal. I add some Epsom salt. I add um, chicken poo, the chicken fertilizer, which uh, is very good. A little bit, not too much. It'll burn your plants. Uh, just a little all-purpose uh, 555. Five, five, and then a little bit of earthworm castings. And then I put it in this pot. Now, this pot is not tremendously big, but remember, this is only a dwarf pepper plant. It's 12 to 18 inches. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to uh, add some addition, additional phosphorus and some balanced fertilizer for the NPK, and then some Epsom salt to make sure that my plants, the leaves are nice and green, and that with the bone meal, extra phosphorus, I'm really uh, promoting flower growth, which in turn is going to give me more fruit. So I wanna maximize the amount of fruit that's on this small pepper plant. And again, look at this pepper plant. I mean, it's just loaded with flowers and I've cut tons of them off already because they've been inside. I started these back in, uh, what eight ten weeks ago uh, but they're ready to go and you see i have a red solo cup that uh, i grew it in so i'm going to pot these and i'll bring you back in a few weeks and i'll show you what this red skin pepper it sounds just like the old washington football club name red skin um, they're hard to find online if you can find them i get them they're a little bit expensive because they're meant to be uh, a bit of a, a dwarf, even an indoor plant, but if you can find them, get them. They produce nice little size red sweet peppers. So here's that pepper plant all potted up, and you'll see there's a ladybug on it, which is a good sign. It's not, she's, the ladybug's not finding any orchids. There it goes, uh, because the uh, plant's been growing inside very in a healthy way, so you're not gonna find uh, any aphids, excuse me, uh, on this plant. Anyway, this is what it looks like. I put some hay on the top uh, to keep the moisture in. Uh, but other than that, all potted up, ready to go. You'll see there's some flowers already starting and uh, this thing should probably, uh, within a week, start uh, putting out some nice baby peppers. Um, so that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video on the red skin pepper. I'm going to leave it up here. As you'll see, there's another one on my fence. So it gets a full eight hours of sun a day. That's all I have for you with the red skin sweet pepper plant. Until next time, Jeff, your executive gardener from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Bye for now.